Welcome to the week six video for Darknet. I spent a lot of time this week working on the server for the game. Sadly, that's not very interesting to show in a video because I really don't want to submit you to three minutes of looking at this. I'm making great progress on the server though, and I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks to have the first playable up and running so I can show that to you. We're really excited to actually be able to play the game online. Instead this week, I'm going to talk about the quality manager I've been working on, which will hopefully let us support multiple targets that have different graphics capabilities without having to redo a ton of the assets. The video you're seeing here is the iPad 2 build, and it looks like you've come to expect for Darknet. It's got the rain, it's got fog, which is actually new, but all the buildings, textures, and level detail are the source assets that we've been using to date. And this is the same build running with the iPad 1, iPhone 4 visual target. As you can see, the quality is slightly reduced. We don't have the graphical rain effect right now. The fog is a little bit thicker, and the view distance has been pulled in. Um, but this actually gives us acceptable performance on the iPad 1 and the iPhone 4 with almost no change to our source assets, which is fantastic. With the work I've done so far on the quality manager, we're able to run on the iPad 2, the iPad 1, the iPhone 4, and the Motorola Zoom. Next up on the device list is the Xperia Play and the iPhone 3GS. The 3GS is going to be a lot of work and probably will require asset changes, but I'm hopeful that the Xperia Play is actually going to be a pretty quick port. That's all for this week. If you'd like to learn more, you can follow our YouTube channel, visit our website at www.mirrormatchgames.com, or follow us on Twitter at Mirror Match Game.